Hey, what's up everybody? So you all know that I love my FJ Cruiser, but it's sometimes difficult to see the signal light when you're at the front of the line. So if you've driven up to an intersection and you're at the very front, whether it's the first car or the second car sometimes, um, it's very difficult to see the traffic light uh, when you're looking out the windshield. As I'm sitting here waiting for the light to turn green, sometimes I'll have to kind of bend my head down below just to kind of get a, a glance at the light. So uh, there's a product out there called Light in Sight. All right, so this is the product. Uh, it came in a regular letter size envelope and uh, opened it up. There's my invoice. I paid $23.95 for this. And when you open it up, it's got some instructions and here's the product itself. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these instructions and uh, follow the steps and then get this thing installed. All right, so it says to use a non-ammonia based product, which is basically anything but window cleaner. So I've got some Dawn dish soap mixed with a little bit of water and I've got a little microfiber cloth. Just gonna clean the inside. All right, up next it says, wet the inside of the windshield thoroughly with water. Place the smooth side against the glass curved side down. This wasn't mentioned in the instructions and I saw somebody else install this using distilled water. So I've got a little uh, distilled water that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna wet the inside and uh, go ahead and get this installed. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place some of this distilled water into this plate, okay? So that I could soak this thing thoroughly. Let's take it to the windshield and get this thing in there. All right, so this light in sight thing is in place now. You can see it right up here and you can kind of see what it does. It kind of refracts the image of whatever is above there. This is my garage door. When I was researching this, and this is something that people have uh, maybe been concerned about is whether or not this product could lead to, you know, fires in the car, like potentially uh, concentrating the sunlight's rays into a single point in your car and uh, causing a fire much like a magnifying glass would out in the hot sun. The way this is designed is if you take a really close look here, um, there's these sort of like ridges in there that kind of resemble the marks of a fingerprint. You can kind of see it here in the corner, but the entire uh, product has these ridges sort of in a semicircular pattern across the whole thing. And I think that it's designed like that to prevent light concentration that might potentially cause those concerns. So far, I mean, obviously people have used this product without any major reported issues from what I understand. So uh, it seems to be a, a well-made product. It's a very simple concept that, you know, not a lot of people think of, uh, especially in cars like the FJ Cruiser, where, uh, you know, looking at signal lights uh, becomes a little bit of an issue but yeah for 23 bucks i cannot complain i'll drive around with this for uh you know for a while and, and report back and see see how it goes all right so here i am in a red light this is kind of what our, my normal field of view looks like but as you can see right through here you can see the red light so pretty cool product i think it works fine So you saw briefly what it looked like while driving. I typically don't like to hold my phone while I'm driving, so I'm gonna do this in the garage real quick. So uh, here's a view of the back of my garage here. Uh, right now we have you know, some luggage suitcases up at the top. My normal field of view would be something like this where I'm sitting up here and I don't see any of the luggage suitcases, but clearly you can see here through the light in sight that you can see the, the suitcases up there. Um, so yeah, that, that's, it's a good product. I think I'll be happy with this, but, uh, if you have the same gripes as me about driving in the FJ, then consider giving this a try. I guess that's it for now. I hope you guys found this helpful and informative and I'll catch you on the next video.